Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Stranded Deep, the Castaway Simulator, with yours truly, Tom Hanks. And uh, actually, Pablo Pancho would write, ex-con, recently escaped from San Pancho prison in Mexico, here in the South Pacific, having a lovely time of it in a, uh, on a paradise, uh, tropical paradise or something like that. Um, so, let's pick up where we left off. We are now in day two. It looks like the sun is starting to go down there in the west. So let's check the vitals here. Let's break out the beepy. And beepy, what's up? It's 5.30, January 4th, two days survived, 108 degrees Fahrenheit out here still. And health looks fine. We're not injured. Um, we are very hungry though. And we're slightly thirsty, but not too bad. And again, I wish they would reverse those two vitals. But it is what it is. So we shall not complain. Now let's get out our our Zippo, our invincible Zippo that lasts forever. And let's get this campfire relit. And I think we have to put more firewood on it. In fact, this is how this works as far as I know. Sun is definitely setting. Let's... Oh, no, that's not how you do it. I think you just... Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, we just left-click on it and feed the fuel. Put in more fuel. And now we get out the old Zippo and see if we can't light it. Wow, that thing just sparks right up. <laughs> it's more like a blowtorch than a Zippo. Wow. You know, I really wish they would add some other type of uh, a fire starting method and maybe make this thing run out of fuel eventually. It's OP, man. It's definitely OP. And I'd like to see some sort of a bow drill or maybe some flint that we could find or something to start fires and make it a little more difficult. Make you earn that flame, boy. Anywho, let's get a Yankees fan cooking Krabby Patty. There we go. Now we got some light. And this thing just turns on automatically. It is apparently a solar-powered lantern. Someone had confirmed that in the comments. It's off during the day where while it's recharging. And then at night, boop, comes on auto magically. I love it. I think Beepy works that way, too. Yeah, check it out. So Beepy, Beepy has, like, a, a day glow thing going on here. Oh, we got to eat. So, unfortunately, I think I can only cook one crab at a time. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time testing that, but we're gonna we're gonna be here all night eating crabs for sure. And while they're cooking, mm, let's hydrate. I love the potassium in this coconut water. Now, how many times can I drink? I guess just one. It has a little of a, a health bar. I guess that's like a damage bar for if I whack it again here. One more time with my crude knife. Oh yeah, it opens right up. Let's have coconut and Krabby Patties. Delicious. All I need now is my Cheryl Teagues. Cheryl! I'll find you. I'll find you. Stay where you are. All right. Anywho, let's uh, just wait for the ding. Oh! Speak of the ding. Speak of the ding, ding, ding. Let's, uh, let's, oh wait. I don't want to get confused with my crabs. <laughs> don't want to confuse your crabs. Come here, Krabby. And this is the male cooked crab, right? Show me your goodness. Cooked crab. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. I think that was a full bar. Okay. That's not very much, is it? I guess I'm going to have to eat more crabs. All right. I'm crawling. I'm not sure why I'm crawling. I'm preserving energy, apparently. And now... Actually, it probably takes more energy to crawl than it does to walk. Let's, uh, let's have another cocoa nut. And mm, down the hatch. Lots of energy stored in these coconuts. Now, let me see here. Keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, I am now hydrated. That's excellent. So, before you go to bed in a survival situation, you want to make sure you get a nice full belly if you can because your body will actually burn calories while you sleep and it keeps you warm and cozy at night. Assuming you have some sort of insulation, of course. Always helps to have some blankies or some clothing. Or something to protect you from the elements. And I'm going to have another coconut. There are plenty of coconuts around, so I might as well supplement my crabs, my Yankees fans, with uh, with some coconuts. Oh, land shark! Land shark! Run, little guy! Run! I won't eat the babies. Oh, oh! I didn't know that was going to work. I, <laughs> I didn't know I was going to stab him and uh, and put him on the end of the stick. Can I just? Oh no, I took the other guy off. No, you get back up there. Where? Uh oh, is he still stuck in the end? Oh yeah, he is. 
Oh, I got him. I pulled him off. Never mind. I was gonna try to cook him at the end of my spear. Yeah, let's put him over there. For later, we'll have one in reserve. So, I think what we're gonna do when the sun comes up... Oh! Crabby Patty. Ding! And let's cook crab. And I want to see how many uh, bars... <laughs> oh. Okay, yep, it is one bar. Hey, last little buddy, buddy old pal. Get on that flame, would you? All right. So it looks like the day-night cycle moves pretty quickly here. Moon's up uh, at the peak right now. Hey, you stealing my coconuts? Put that over there. And I think what I'm going to do is go grab one of my new axes that I found in one of the shipwrecks, right? Check that out. And we'll go chop down some wood. Of course, I'll use the stone one first. Because I want to make a shelter. That's the next thing we want to do. Is make sure, before it starts to rain, that we have a place to uh, to hide out in and stay warm and dry. So we don't get hypothermia. I'm going to take down a few trees. I'm going to grab some Hans and Franz. And some sticks. Timber! We're going to clear the uh, the golf course here. I might play a little crab golf later. It's always fun. A little entertainment. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we'll build up these shelters. So stay tuned. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Oh! Krabby Patty done! Lovely. I've got two extra Krabby Patties right here for... Later in the day, maybe for lunch. I think I'm in pretty good shape right now. No need to eat or drink. The sun is now on the rise. This is excellent. I've collected many sticks. I've got a few extra palm fronds and some lashings, but I'm probably going to need a few more of each of those. Let me just grab some lashings from the yucca. These apparently do regrow very quickly, which is, I, I guess that's nice. But I wish they wouldn't grow so fast. I guess it depends really on what you're looking for as far as our, our survival experience goes. Are we looking for a hardcore survival experience? Should we have, uh, should we not have a lighter that lasts forever? Frankly, it would be nice to have that in some sort of option. Where if you want to play a hardcore mode, you could. Or if you want to play more casually, you could do that as well. Options are always lovely. All right, I think we might need a few more palm fronds, so I'm going to have to chop down another tree. Let's get one over here. This is a nice low tree. All right, here we go. Four more Hans and fronds. Plenty of lashings. Plenty of sticks. And now all I need is my hammer. So let's drop the axe for the time being and pick up the hammer. Crude hammer. Now we got blue outline. I love it. And that indicates we can build things. We can construct. So let's construct a foundation. This is the first thing we need to do in order to make our shelter. And where would a nice shelter go? We can have it beachside or we can have it more in the island interior. With the uh, Well, we don't need shade because we're going to build a roof on it. I kind of want to have it close to camp, like over here. And I might even get out of here, a little crabby. I'll plop you this down right on top of you like the old wicked witch. Um, let's see. You can have it up high. You know, which is probably, may not be a bad thing since we're this close to the water. The tides may come up. We might have a monsoon. And we don't want to be sleeping in the water. So, I guess higher is better. I just don't know how the game handles highs and lows. So, let's just... <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Let's just put it here. That's fine. I don't want to get too picky. I don't know if there's a front or a back or what but uh, I suppose we'll find out that is super high and I know we can make I know we can make a, uh, a ladder to get up to our steps or something all right cool so now we need we need no we need some more lashings is what we need let's get the lashings over by the sticks let's just toss them over here because we need um, we now need supports and I'm not sure oh wait yeah we need the supports. How do we make supports? Sticks and stones will break my bones. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to get it closer to the foundation, maybe. Let's bring it over here and drop everything by the foundation. I think... Oh, no, guys. I was hoping to get this done before we needed it. It's usually a good idea to get your foundations 
I mean, your shelter's done. And your fires, and pretty much anything done before you actually need it. Because now we're getting soaked. Our clothing is getting wet. Our body temperature is going to start to drop. Because we cannot stay dry without this shelter. Let's see if we can't make a support. Oh, perfect. Okay, that does work. Let's get this rooftop up quick, shall we? There's one. Give me another support, yo. I'm going to need four supports, one in each corner, and that rain is really loud. I apologize. I'll turn that down in the, uh, in the software, my editing software. There we go. And one more. Let's grab some more sticks and things. I hope I have enough to get this done. Grab the hammer. And another support. Last support. There. And now, let's see if we can't make a roof. Let's get the roof up there. Nice! <laughs> That's pretty cool. And I think we have enough for a, uh, a ladder to get up. Let's see. No, not a campfire, you dang fool. Oh, that's why I'm the dang fool. The dang, the dang fool. Um, let's put it right here. Too close to the fire? No, that's perfect. All right, look at that. Excellent. We did it. Whew, just hunker down right here. I think I'm dry inside. As long as there's no wind that drives the rain into the sides, we should be okay. But let's get at least one wall. And then I don't have to worry about that, as long as we know which direction the wind is blowing. And I think I have enough for a wall. That's why you want to gather way more than you think you, than you, than you think you need. Get out of here. And a wall. Nice. Let's put a wall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, this is making me dizzy. Okay, I got it. You got. It looks like you have to point at the very top of the structure. Woo! Woo, now I'm nauseous. Oh. All right, I don't think I have enough sticks. I want, that's my firewood. I don't want to touch my firewood to make another wall. That's fine. That'll have to do. We just wait out the rain. What time is it? It's only noon. And vitals look good. We're not hungry. We're not thirsty. I seize you. I wish I could throw my spear at that stupid Yankees fan. I'll toss a rock at him. Alright. I think we're just gonna wait here, wait out the storm, and then we'll, um... We'll go, uh, maybe build up some more walls here. After I warm up. My core temperature's really low right now. Well, I know a way to stay warm. Get active. <laughs> Buzz off, Rain. You don't scare me. Let's get some more palm fronds. And some more sticks. Ooh, sun's going down again already? Wow, what time is it? Man, time flies when you're having fun surviving. It is, once again, 5.30 and almost dinner time. I'd like to either get another wall up in my shelter, or maybe, even maybe make it a little bit larger with another foundation that's eight sticks. Let's give it a try. Okay, never mind. Can I get a refund on that? Can I have those sticks back? <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. There's something in the way. Um, I can put it down here. I can make a low foundation. It just doesn't attach. I mean, it looks like it wants to attach. Maybe it's my palm fronds down here. Now, how do I... Oh, right click. And you do get a refund with a right click. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you, developers, for understanding people do dumb things and they derp a lot. And that right click was really super handy right there. That was amazing. I think maybe if I just move that, perhaps this tree is in the way, but I think maybe that... I think Hans... I think Hans might have been in the way there. Let me back my hammer. And let's try that foundation again. Yeah, baby. Yep, it was. It was Hans, so maybe Franz. Okay, excellent. Where's my lamp? Let's get the lamp in here. We can start storing some items inside the shelter now. And I hope they don't fall through the uh, floor here. Bleep. <laughs> I'm just going to stand you up. I wonder if you can make, like, shelving. Whoa. 
That would be cool. Or hang things up from, uh, like, little nails or something. Come on, just stand up there, little fella. Uh, uh, you can do it! Come on, just like the little train. Oh, just toss it in the corner. Lantern toss. Now you, look, look who's back. Get, I'm gonna toss you. Let's, let's have a little golf tonight. Woo! Oh, bad. Oh, there's the hole right. You're a, you're a heavy guy. He's a big one. All right. Oh, we should probably get somebody on. Yeah. Let me get a fire going. Grab some firewood here. Get that fire up. Not too much. It's going to burn no matter what you put on there, so. Start light. Oh, I have cooked crabs from last night. Who that? Mm. I was going to have these for lunch, but I missed lunch. I worked right there. Mm. Work right through lunch. Sometimes it pays off to work through lunch. Where are you going, Hans? In front. How many where are you down there? And I'm gonna grab some more crabs. Go put this guy on the Barbie. And cook somebody up. Make that fire useful. Alright, check it out. So now I can put another wall here, another wall there, and I'll have a, uh, a double size. Nice. We're going to be living in comfort. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just have this as a deck. Lay out, get some sun or something, you know? That'd be cool. I might even be able to chop down that tree and put another foundation down. Got to think about it. I got to think about it. I got plenty of stuff, plenty of materials here. I think I'm okay the way it is. I like having that deck, to be honest. All right, folks. I think we're done here for the time being. Is there anything else that we wanted to do today? We are, we are not just surviving, my friends. We are... Say it. Thriving. Surviving and thriving, baby. That's what we're doing here. We're going to drink a coconut. Wish I had something to spike this thing with. But, uh, whatever. You got you to gotta make do with what you have, right? Beggars can't be choosy. Not all that. Oh, down the hatch. Delicious coconut water. Hmm. All right, my friends. We're looking mighty fine here. So I think what we'll do is in the next episode, we'll, uh, we'll finish off the shelter and then we'll take a boat ride. We're going to go out and explore some of this ocean. We've got plenty of islands out there. We have our compass so we can always find our way back, hopefully. And uh, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll see what's out and about. All right. I'm going to take this guy down. I don't even... Do I need to eat him right now? Yeah, sure. Quick snack. Mm. Nah, good. I'll sleep warm tonight. Get another one going. Come here, you. Hmm. Yankees fans. All right, folks. With that, I think we are done here. I'm going to squat in my shelter. And check the place out. Doing okay. <laughs> surviving and thriving. Uh, surviving and thriving, I should say. All right, guys and gals. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.